Hello friends, welcome once again in our YouTube channel, Dr. Bhushan's Biology. Today we are going to discuss about one of the important topics that is pteridophytes. Its introduction and general characters we will see in this topic. So this topic is useful for different exams that is uh, this uh, is involved in the syllabus of uh, CET, NEET, uh, some of the UG and PG courses also and this syllabus is also this point is also involved in MPC and UPC syllabus. So this is useful for CET, NEET, UG, PG, MPC and UPC students. So we'll see about the classification of this pterodophyte. In 1886, Hitler classified entire plant kingdom into cryptogamy and phenogamy. As we know, the cryptogam and phenogams plant kingdom is divided into cryptogams and phenogams. So what is cryptogam? Cryptogams, it means non-flowering plant, or we can also say it as a flowerless plant. So what about the phenogams? Phenogams, it means flowering plant. So this cryptogam is further divided into three different divisions. One of the division is thylophyta, another one is bryophyta, and third one is pteridophyta. So this thylophyta is again classified into two classes. First class is algae and second class is fungi. Gymnosperm and angiosperm, these are two main divisions of phenogams. And these angiosperm is further classified into monocotyledony, as we say, that is monocot, and dicotyledony, as we say, it is a dicot. And so this is a basic classification of uh, this plantic kingdom. So we will see this classification over here. You can see this classification over here. As I said that uh, this kingdom planty is there. So kingdom planty is divided into cryptogamy and phenogamy, two divisions. So it is for cryptogamy further divided into thylophyta, bryophyta, and pterodophyta. And you can see this thylophyta is uh, divided into algae and fungi. And example of this algae is spirogyra. Example of fungi is the rhizopus. There are so many examples of this algae and fungi. And then uh, phenogams is the uh, it is a sperm Spermatophyta. Spermatophyta, it means sperma means seed and phyta means plant. So plant producing seed, seed that is called as spermatophyta. It uh, divided into gymnosperm and angiosperm. So gymnosperm we know very well. Gymnosperm, it means a naked seed. Angiosperms, it means enclosed seed. So seed enclosed into the fruit that is angiosperm and gymnosperm means naked seed is there. So that is called as gymnosperm. Now, if we see uh, further characteristics of uh, the uh, pteridophyta, then uh, we'll see diversity of pteridophytes. So pteridophyte, as we say, that is a uh, pteridophytes. In science, uh, most of the times, what you have to do, you have to break the words. You have to try to break the words. So pteridophyte is divided into, or it is uh, made by two words. So first word is a pteron, it means feather, and another one is, another word is phytons, which means plant. And so the, it, we can say that is plant which have feather-like leaves, that is called as pterodophyte. These, as we already discussed, that is, uh, it comes is in under the uh, cryptogamy, that is a flowerless plant. So no flower, you can see in this plant, in this group. These are also called as vascular cryptogams. Why we can say it has vascular cryptogams? As vascular tissues are present over there. Vascular tissue, as we said, that is xylem and phloem. These are vascular tissues. And you can see a presence of vascular system in pterodophytes. What about its diversity? So approximately, we can say there are uh, approximately 400 genera are there that is a uh, living as well as a fossilized form of the genera and approximately 10,500 species are present over there in pterodophytes. If we say the geological time scale of these pterodophytes, then when these pterodophytes is formed, then era are there, periods are there, epochs are there, and some of the characteristics are there in geological time scale. So these uh, pterodophytes are formed in Paleozoic era, as Mesozoic is there, Cenozoic is there, and Paleozoic is there. So you can see it is formed in Paleozoic, Paleozoic era, and the period is Silurian period. And you can also see uh, the most dominant visitation of these pterodophytes is found in Devonian period. So in Devonian period, you can see the most dominant visitation of these pterodophytes. Now, Hickel, 
is one of the scientists. Uh, he, uh, in 1866, he uh, first time suggested the name of a pterodophyta, as he had seen the pinna like leaves. Uh, after his study, or uh, after whatever he said, after 20 years of his study in 1886, Engler is one of the scientists is there. He considered pterodophyta is a division of subkingdom embryophyta. So it has a also placed, uh, it, it is seen in some of the books that is it also placed in trachea or tracheophyta division because uh, we know very well that is water is also necessary for its fertilization. So we can also say it as amphibians of plant kingdom. And uh, one of the main characteristics of these pterodophyta, these are first land plant on the earth. So, sporophytic plant body is present over here in pterodophyta, where the heteromorphic alternation of generation we can see in this. And whatever sporophytic and gametophytes are there, but sporophytic is sporophyte is independent uh, and divided into differentiated to root, stem, and leaves. So, sporophyte is the dominant sporophytic uh, phase we can see in pterodophyta. The sporophyte, which are produced, uh, produce the spore, and it is by the process of meiosis. As there are meiosis, mitosis, uh, meiosis is there. Uh, meiosis, mitosis, uh, these are two specific processes are there. So in gametes, when we say about the gametic um, condition, then meiosis is process over the sporophyte produce spores by the meiosis. And from these spores, it gives a gametophytes in soil, and it is also called as prothallus. And these gametophytes lives for short a period of time. These gametophytes is lives for short period of time. One more point we need to know that is pterodophyte. It is one of the connecting link between two another groups of plantae kingdom. That is a uh, between the connecting link between the bryophytes as well as spermatophytes. So why it is a connecting link? As it shows the characteristics of both bryophyta as well as spermatophyta. So if we say this is connecting link or it is showing the character like bryophytes, then we can say sex organ is surrounded by sterile jackets as these characteristics are seen in bryophytes. Well developed archegonia, that is a female sex organ is there. Water is also necessary for fertilization in pterodophytes and we had already uh, seen uh, or may have read, that is uh, you may have read about the uh, water is necessary for fertilization in bryophytes also. So this is some of the similar characteristics yeah there are some of the different sets are also there when compared with uh, bryophytes that is a well-developed plant body here in pterodophytes uh, vascular tissues are also present in pterodophytes but it is not present in bryophytes uh, it also show reproductive organ and vascular tissues like gymnosperm, but uh, it don't have any seeds like gymnosperm. As we say, gymnosperm, it uh, present a naked seed. So that is called as a gymnosperm. Here, it uh, don't have any seeds like the gymnosperms. Now, Oswald Tipo, 1942, what he did, uh, he divided the sterophytes in four groups that is uh, uh, on the basis of morphology as well as reproductive character. So these four groups are Silopsida, Lycopsida, Spinopsida, and Pteropsida. Again, in 1975, Swan classified same pteridophytes in different five groups, five different groups. So Silophytopsida is there, Silo Topsida is there, Lycopsida is there, Spinopsida is there, and Teropsida is there. And so here, these are five groups. Uh, so Silophytopsida is a fossil form, and it contains the genera like Silophyton as well as Rhenia. Then a uh, living form is there, that is Silotopsida. It contains generalized Silotum. Lycopsida, it is also one of the form, uh, that is one of the uh, group, that is the Lycopodium is example, Silaginella is one of the example from this group. Spinopsida, you can see both living as well as fossil form over here, that is Spinopsida, Equisitum is a living form, Calamites and Spinophyllum is fossil form, and Teropsida, Teris, Nephrolipis, Marsilia and Opiglossum, these are some of the gen genus present in Teropsida. So this is all about the pterodophytes. 
this is our lecture on the pteropods, which is a basic lecture, very basic lecture, necessary for different types of exams. Thank you for your patience, and please subscribe our channel if you haven't subscribed our channel yet. Thank you.